In this video, we will take a look at how we can mix tabs and side menu templates in our Ionic project. Let's start by creating a new project with the side menu template. So we will do Ionic start. Ionic side menu will be the name of the project. And then for the template, we will pass side menu. And then we will pass type equal to Angular. Now it will create new project with the side menu template and we will press no here. So it will install dependencies here. Now that the project is created, so we can clear the terminal and change the directory to our uh, new project, which is Ionic side menu. And then we can open the project inside VS code. And now we can run this project by ionic serve so it will build our application for the first time and then it will open inside the browser so this is how our side menu application looks on the desktop size and if we press f12 and open developer console and if you toggle the device toolbar and this is how it will look on our mobile device so now let's see how we can add tabs menu template inside our side menu template so let's open new terminal here and then uh, let's expand this and first we want to generate a tabs page so we will do ionic generate page and then tabs so this will create this tabs page here and next we also want to create two more pages so let's say I need to generate page and then we want to create about page and one more page we want to create is contact page all right so now if we open app.routing.module.ts and let's close the terminal here and we can see all these paths here we actually don't need these paths so we can comment it out here and but what we want actually we need this one for tabs and let's move it to the top so i want to move it here and i want this to be the root path so, so i can actually remove this one and here i will add tabs when we create paths in the tabs module i we will be using it starting with slash tabs so now let's go to tabs.module.ts and here we can specify our paths here so here we will say tabs so that will be the root path and then we have to specify children here so we will add array here and then for the path we will add about and then we have to add the outlet which will also be about and then we have to specify the component we want to load so which is about page so we also want to add our contact page so we will say path contact outlet contact and the component will be contact page and now we can add the contact page module and about page module inside the imports array here so we will say uh, about page module and contact page module now we can update the tabs page template so we can go here and we don't need this code so we can remove it and now first let's take a look at the documentation so here on the ionic framework documentation we can see this is how the markup of our ionic tabs looks like and this is how the tabs will look so we can copy this and paste it here and now we can update it accordingly uh, let's remove this first ion tab here and then for this one we want to use the label about and for the next one we want to use the label contact and now we can use href here and then we can specify tabs slash then path uh, so that will be about and then outlet all right so now we can go ahead and add 
iron router outlet here and with the name about and similarly we have to update the next iron tab so that will be href slash tab slash contact colon contact and for the router outlet that will be name equal to contact so now we can save it now in our browser we can see this we are going to slash tabs here so if i remove it and i click here we will be redirected to slash tabs and then we have about and contact so we can switch between them so currently you won't see the side menu here on the mobile device but if i close the developer console here you can see it here uh, we have about contact currently we don't have anything in the template of about and contact uh, so actually let's add it now so we can go to about.page.html and we can add this is about page tab and then we can go to contact page this is contact page tab we can also add that hamburger menu that we are not seeing on the mobile device so if you go to home and homepage.html we can actually copy this component or we can copy these directives and then we can go to both about page.html and we can paste it here and we can go to contact page.html and paste it here so now if we go back to the browser first we can see these changes that we made this is about page and this is contact page tab all right so now if i open developer console and we are currently seeing it inside of iphone and we can see this hamburger menu and if we click this we can see this menu item so similarly if we click on about we can also see this hamburger menu